new Drake. I'm in this court feeling amazing, sweating. What else do I need? Oh! Go to Tuesday. Yo. Go to Tuesday. Let's go. What is good? We're back. Look. Most of you are treating your dunk journey, your training, and even your freaking life like you're running an obstacle with your eyes closed. What are you doing? So look, this is what I mean by that. So much of training of what I see, I'm going to call, I'm going to take a breath. Hmm, it's the Jewish New Year, Shana Tovat, my fellow Jews, it's the New Year. I also learned something new on my latest podcast, if you listened 10 Days of Awe. So it starts now, the 10 Days of Awe. It's about forgiveness, thinking about your sins and really planning it out. And then the next holiday in 10 days, Yom Kippur, which is the most sacred of the Jewish tradition. I just read this recently, so I hope it's true. It seals it. So it's kind of like a manifestation in my eyes where it's like, this is the time to cleanse, uh, forgive yourself, think about what you want to do and manifest it and get so sealed with it that by the end of the holiday, boom, that's who you become. So that's what we're doing. And then it applies to dunking. So let's get it. This is what I mean. We all want to jump higher. At least I do. Most people watching this video want to jump higher. You're trying to jump higher. You know your goals. And you need to start listening to your body, noticing your body, figuring out what you're even giving it to. Giving it to what? Giving yourself. What I mean by that is... You're doing your training. You're asking, does this workout work? Should I do plyometrics? Should I do strength training? Should I jump? Should I do technique? What do I need to do? But that's like running an obstacle course. Say it was one of those freaking crazy Spartan races, which I could see my insane self doing at some point in my life. Marathons are insane, by the way. 26 miles. I could barely run a mile, and that's not a joke. Endurance needs to work. I just read Art of Resilience. Stamina equals strength. And I promise I will stay on point in this video, but I'm all about the energy. I want every video to inspire you to just get back to work and bring energy to everything you do and achieve self-actualization. Just be the highest potential of the human you could be because that's what I am. And if you like this about me or you get some energy, that's because you're seeing yourself. If you don't like something about me, you're seeing yourself as well. We're reflections. Let's get back on point. Where were we? So... You're running the Spartan race, obstacles. You're basically asking people anywhere in any part of your life saying, at this point of the obstacle, your eyes are closed. Say there's like hurdles. You have no idea what there is because your eyes are closed the whole time. You say, should I jump now or should I run fast now or should I pace myself now? Should I do some, do I have to lift this thing? You have no idea. And maybe you listen to the person and they tell you and then you try it, but then the next obstacle comes and you haven't developed any skills to actually complete the course. Do you get what I'm saying? So even if you make progress, you don't even know what you did. You don't even know which one worked. That's how I want you to see your training. You need to start saying, okay, I want to jump higher. First, figure out a number. How high do you want to jump? For me, my ultimate goal is 46 right now. 50 is like a dream, dream beyond. I could even comprehend a dream. 46 is a, is a minor dream, is a smaller dream, because that's where I would achieve all the goals that I set out from when I started my dunk journey 10 years ago. So... But my next goal is 44. But the point is get super clear on where you want to go. You have to jump higher, right? Everything needs to be in tune. Your technique, you need to be strong. You need to be explosive. You need to be healthy. Your tendons have to be pain-free. You have to have good mechanics so you can lift and strengthen your body. And the basics are always the same. You're producing force. You need to jump higher. You need to push yourself harder. But you need to understand what you're doing in these workouts. If you go for a workout and you just do the reps, but your intention is not there, you're wasting your time and you got to stick to something. So I guess the end of the day is build the awareness, notice what you're doing and be consistent. I think more than 50% of the people I talk to or notice is that they've never really trained jumping, which is what's fun about dunking is that people are now, now it's become a way bigger thing than when I started. You can train to jump higher, just like getting stronger, just like endurance, uh, speed people knew as well, but jumping was always that thing that felt like a freak gift or just something that was not for everybody. But you can train it as well. The difference is it's hard to measure jumping because there's so many variables when it comes to exploding your hardest, like if you slept well or different things like that. Strength is the easiest one. So if I say, if you wanted to lift 250 pounds bench press, a 315, whatever it is, right? You can, you can intuitively do that with almost no training. There's not much technique, but you could say, okay, I right now I'm at 200. You rep it out. You try to push for 205. You try to push for 225. Maybe you say, you know what? Some days I'm going to do more reps. You just try those different things and you're learning, but your goal is so clear that it's easy to increase the weight. 
Jumping is a lot less clear than that. Than that, you need strength, you need speed, you need to uh, push yourself. You need to, but there's all these different energy levels of like understanding your explosiveness. So uh, one day you could just be have all the potential in the world, but you just don't have your central nervous system firing, so you don't jump your highest that day. Point being, build that awareness. Stay disciplined on your journey. Start mapping out the the race. Start mapping out your journey. Meaning, you're not trying to just make a plan. Commit to the purpose. I just read this, or I heard Sadhguru, who I'm a huge fan of. His voice is amazing, and he's got the most beautiful ways of putting these really large, deep concepts. So I highly recommend him as well. But he said, don't commit to a plan. Commit to your purpose. And what I love about that is he was saying that your plan, say you have a plan for your life, you want to do these things. If you're too attached to that plan, you, when things don't go exactly as planned, you're going to feel stress. You might feel anxiety. But also, if you're detached from your plan and you have a loose plan, but you're committed to your purpose, you can always live your purpose and that plan can change and modify. And you don't know what the future holds. You don't know what you're going to want to feel tomorrow. You don't know how your life is going to change. You don't know who you're going to meet. So that plan, how could you make a plan for that future that has so many details? You can't because you just have, there's so many unknowns. And the flip side as well, the four point swing, not only is it hard to stick to that plan, but you can also be open to the infinite possibilities of your plan changing so you can make the best decisions going forward. And that's what you could bring to your training is you have a plan. You want to jump higher. That's the ultimate goal. But commit to learning how to get there. So every time you're looking at, okay, by the end of this year, I want to jump this high, you're starting to map it out. If you're, You get all the details, but you have to take action at the same time. So to finish the analogy is start the race, start going down the race, wherever you are. Maybe the first goal is to touch the rim. Okay, I'm doing that. Where am I now? You start mapping it out. How do I feel? And I'll give you some tips, I guess, because I should probably give you something to think about. Uh, map out your energy levels. That's what I'm big on. How are you sleeping? How are you eating? How does your body feel? Soreness, pain-wise, all those different things. Start tracking that every single day. Then start tracking how much you're jumping, what exercises you're trying, how they make you feel. And there's so many factors your body has to learn and adapt to, and you're going to start to notice that. And then as you do that, now you're mapping out that piece as you did it. So now the next level you go to, you could, you could look back and say, okay, this is what worked. And you learned that whole time as you're making progress. And then it's a, it's never a an up straight up trajectory it's always up and down and ups and downs of the journey but there's a book called uh principles by ray dalio and it just says it has a graph that's just a spiral so it's always everything to go successful every part of success always goes down first you learn you map about and then you could excel to the next level so you almost have to fail so you can learn so you can build the next steps and that's it dunk tip freaking tuesday, tuesday. If, if you don't get fueled up by that if you don't start attacking your goals if you're not doing what you want in your life i don't know what to tell you <laughs> all right so today was my first dunks after completing my strength phase. I'm stronger than I've ever been, as I mentioned in this vlog, so I hope you guys enjoy the quick vlog at the end of this video. This is a mashup video. I have so much to say in every video, so I'm just trying to make the most content possible. I have a Be The Way video that I'm super excited for. It's more of a spirituality type video, so stay tuned for that. But in this one, stronger than ever, hamstrings are so fired up in a, not the best way. They're, there's painful, so I'm in a little bit of a rehab mode right now, but I have all this strength still jumping with ease, so I'm excited to try to break through to that next level to show you how I got there. So let's go. Yo, PR's all this week. Squats. Deadlifts. Hip thrusts. Went hard as I can be, deload weeks so I did less reps. So I'm a little more fresh, but it's been a few weeks of heavy lifting, so my body's taking a toll, feeling amazing, except my hamstrings are super tight. Other than that, super healthy. So getting mobile today is just about max jumping again, keeping it light. I think I'm gonna transition to more jumping now. I'm only jumping once a week, about 10 max jumps. But other than that, 
<laughs> your body has to adapt. You got to think super long term. Where do you want to be? Think about the craziest goal you can think of and work towards that. Don't just think about the next goal. Think about the biggest goal you can think about and how you can work towards that now. Let's go. First jump of the day. Ooh, yeah. One way to tell I'm out of shape is I'm sweating like this from a warm up. All I, I, I took one jump. You saw the one jump. I was just doing some little minor sprints and I'm drenched. <laughs> I'm very strong. Huh. It's in there. Oh yeah. Warm up, super gradual, 10%, 20%, 30%, but hype is there and I'm also feeling really good, so that was great, I'm really happy with that. Good. Guess who's more motivated now? There you go. Easy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> ah. If you guys have been following me at all, if you see my past videos, I'm running full speed. This looks like methodical and slow, but super powerful, super on point. So I gotta make sure I hammer home that technique so I can continue to build on this because I wanna go fast, I wanna explode, and I wanna jump my highest, but I can't access that potential yet. I'm spitting bars. See, that was a little out of my reach, and I felt myself extend and I still got it. But normally I explode even harder, but I'm still hesitating. I have pain in my hamstrings are super tight. So I'm hesitating because I don't know if my body can handle it, yet I'm still getting there. My body can't handle my body. Meaning I got so much strength, I can't handle that speed yet, so I gotta tell my body to get ready for it. Yo, every single week, newer, better videos is my goal for this channel. Just make, push the limits of my mind and my creativity and energy and just see how crazy I can make these videos. So that's my goal. I have coaching and programs and all these different things. Contact me, reach out to me. Thank you for supporting my art. I love you. Have the best day of all time right today, right now.